The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to answer an email today we got from Tom C. And his question was, he was looking at TLT, and he was interesting to say that he seemed a little confused on which direction it was going. Well, Tom, welcome to trading. That happens to me every time I put a trade on. However, what we will do is we'll look at this from uh, – my perspective, and maybe that'll help out a little bit. As you can see here, that there's some things here. He's a must be a big fan of uh, old on Steve Rhodes, and of course you should be because Steve is really good at what he does here. Uh, I don't know what these support and lines mean. They're, they're a little different. I can see the ABCD stuff that's in here, and I can see the trading cycle. But basically, what I'll do here is I'll go down to TLT, and we'll, we'll look at it together and see if we can find something that'll give us a rough idea of where we are here. Hold on a second. I had it right here. Where did I do with it? Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. And here it is right here. Here's TLT as we're looking at it. You can see the big ABCD, but this is what he was asking about was this particular move right here. And his question was, what direction is it going to go? Well, the first thing I would say is it's going down. And the reason for that is if you look at the swings from your high to your high, to your high, you're in a descending market, okay? That's, well, a longer term, of course, that's come off of a bottom, but nearby, we have lower highs. Now, all you want to do, and he did a good job of this, if you just measure with your pencil and go over to see if the high to high is measuring pretty good. There it is, every 25 trading days, it seems to be, uh, you know, making a high, so... That's what uh, that's the, one of the things that would be a one three five pattern fitting in purpose uh, perfectly. The second thing you would do is to measure a ratio from your high down to your low, and you'll see that we came in um, just a little above the fifty percent level of the high right back here, and then on the high that we made back here in early February, that one's probably going to be a spot on. 61% retracement, and of course, there it is. So where do we go from here? So here's what we're looking at. TLT is an ETF, trades quite a bit. Uh, it's not for day traders. I'm almost 100% sure of that, but that's what we're looking at. Where do we go from here? This is a really key spot. Now, all we're going to do now, and this is one of the things, one of our trades that we had for today. Let's just get this up here, and we'll be able to see it together. Here is the Treasury bond. I said this is the same chart basically that uh, he was showing us, that Tom was showing us. This is that same 135 pattern, but only with the Treasury bond futures. This is the second largest futures contract. The first one is the Treasury notes. And as you can see here, we have this pattern that is going here. And that's what we were watching this morning. So what we did is we moved down to a 60-minute chart and showed the folks on the video you want to be selling the bonds here at 120.04. The high was 120.05. We're now trading at 119.28, 29. So as long as we don't get above that, that tells us we're going to back off. Now, the second question you want to ask yourself is, remember, this thing bottom back here on the 17th had another bottom here when the Fed was here on the 20th. So we have a couple of higher bottoms in here. So the first point, we'd be looking for some major support would be going down from this low up to your high right here, all right? And that should tell you that down about three quarters of a point right in here at 119.12 would be a 382 retracement. Now, remember now, we're looking at this on a daily basis, on an hourly basis in, in a daily context. And if there's the 18th of March, we rally up to the 22nd. That's four days. You want to look for about a two or three day correction into this area right about here now if it collapses from here like it did here you'd be expecting a move that would take you down to just about there so there's your area of support for that particular trade because you put it on on an hourly basis okay so there's your area of support right in here between 
and one nineteen oh four. That's a difference of eight ticks, so that's pretty good. But that's what I'd be looking for for that trade. Now, in this particular trade here, your stop would be up here at one twelve, or excuse me, one twenty. Uh, 15 because you don't want to risk more or 14 you want to risk more than 10 points because if you're risking just $300 you'd like to make at least two or three times that and that's what you're looking for because what we're doing here folks is a simple ABCD stuff that's really that's the bottom line that uh, I live and breathe by so let's keep uh, keep that in mind uh, the video a problem that we've been having first of all i apologize for having the allergies i couldn't talk because it wasn't allergies i had a sore throat which is due to infection related to what i had but that's all cleared up now and i think i'm doing pretty good so well knock on wood oh better use that one okay let's move on to a couple of things here uh we talked about that s p uh, situation where we had a whole bunch of things happening so let's look at something else here we'll get rid of the TLT now because I want to talk to you just a second here about the uh, Russell and it's right there I believe now here's Russell now remember folks we had that tremendous move here here was the big move this is a weekly okay now remember you see these highs right in here where it doesn't quite make the exact 61% retracement by golly folks on that run that we had here on Wednesday and also the open interest was dropping. We made a higher high here by three points and we went above the exact 61% retracement by three points. The high was one was 2132. So that's two and a half points from, from the high and we're now trading you know, uh, uh, 30 points under that. But that's what's happening. We'll look at it on a short term basis. You'll, you'll see what I'm referring to. There was your high right up in here Okay, and look at this. This was yesterday, folks. I mean, hello, opera. Oh, wait, does that say today? Oh, that was early in the morning. Sorry, this is early morning. It couldn't have been that early because there it is. Wow, it's not down that much at all. So maybe it's going to go higher. I don't know. All I'm saying is be really careful because it's really interesting here watching some of these things unfold. Now, let's take a look at the crude oil market because remember in the newsletter I said – be really careful of this stuff up in here. Let's just get the uh, get the daily up so we can see it real easy because we had this uh, ABCD pattern. I know you guys get tired of hearing it, but you know what? I like it. Let's move on. Not only do I like it, I like it a lot. There's your ABCD pattern right here. And you'll notice that it measured where? This measured to 82.89. This measured to 82.92. And the high was 83.12, oh, 83. 20 cents away. Now you can see we're 1,500 bucks under that, but it's coming down very slowly. One, two, three, we're down three days and it's not doing very much at all. So the first thing I would do is I would go to that hourly chart and move it over just a little bit so I can see where I am because now I know where I am. There was your big it was your big move right here. Remember that one? That was right here on the, uh, the 11th of um, – uh, April, uh, March. Okay, and now what we're doing is we're coming down really close to the 382 or the whole Gamilla. We got to get back to that. Oh, yeah, we've hit it three times. Be real close attention in here at this uh, 80 bucks, folks. Very, very important number here. Hey, let's take a break. 877 927 6648, and we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've had a question about uh, the A word, astrology, and I done some work on that, just enough to make me dangerous. And believe me, I, I shy away from it as much as I can for two reasons. One is that it's over my pay grade, and two, it's like everything else. It doesn't work all the time, and it's a little too hard for me to understand, so I stick with what I know the best. Now, this is the S&P going over the last couple of years, last 18 months. You'll notice from the lows to the highs was 20 weeks up. Lows to the highs, 20 week up. This was the key part right here, was October 27th, when we were looking at the Bradley Mall and all those things that were lining up at that time. That happened to be a, a near perfect 382 of that move. This says 0.42, but it's not set right. It should have been set there. That's a 30, uh, 382 retracement. That's when I became very, very bullish and, of course, missed the whole thing. Now, when you look at lunar eclipses and full moons, and, of course, you have solar eclipses and new moons, the first thing you want to ask yourself is, does this thing have any predictability? So if you've got a numbers guy working with you, like I did with Mr. T, Jimmy Torneyman, I, had, I used to have all the statistics. Unfortunately, Jimmy had them, and uh, – I, you know, I don't want to go back into it again. It, it works about 70% of the time. But when it works with the pattern, that, that's a little better than 70% of the time. Now, you'll notice here that there are some other eclipses over here. So if we went back into March, we had an eclipse right in here around the 18th of April. Okay, Then we had a really big one right here on that low right here, which was May the 5th. That was right at that low. Now, this is a weekly chart. You can see the market backed off virtually nothing. And then it continue, you know, to go a lot higher. And if you wanted to, you know, defy human nature, like Jimmy said, and do the work yourself, measure the A, B, C, D move on that one. And guess where it takes you, folks? Right in here to this level right here. So when I go through these things and say we're looking at a lunar eclipse and a full moon, just like we were back in here, it means it may or may not work. All I do is I look at this pattern right here. And at 5294... I mean, that was the high the previous week, okay? But we made a higher high, so that higher high was 53.22. Now, the difference between 53.22 and 52.94 for all you statisticians and perfectionists is 0.005. Five one-thousandths of a point, folks. 
that's not very much. That's pretty much spot on. So the market's up next week. Guess what? Back to the 200-day moving average. No, not quite that bad, but that's what we're paying attention to. Okay, let's move on to another one here that people have asked me about, and that here is the British pound because we've got a nice trade set up possibly here in the British pound. If I can find it, the British pound, where are you? Right there. There it is right here. Get ready, boys and girls. Get ready to hit the green line because we're almost there. Hold on. We might even be below it, but I don't think so. Let's hold. Get this up here. So, uh, shut the front door. Raise the rent. There we go. We're almost here right now. Here, stop the music. Stop the music. There we are. Here's where we are. Now, you recognize this pattern here, folks. I think so. Anyway, here's where we were back here on the 8th. Okay, that was several weeks ago. There was your A leg right here. All right. Okay, and guess what this is now? It's going to be tested. There's your B leg. And there's your sea leg coming in at one two five seven zero, and here it is at one two five nine one. Okay, that's an that's an A B C D coming in right at this level, right about here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at this on the daily and see if it looks like anything. And by golly, it does look like something. We thought there was going to be a low right in here, which we did, and there is your A. B, C, D forming just as we speak. We'll clean this out so we can see it on the daily and make it look a little better. Now, the thing you got to be afraid of are these big down moves here, right? Well, let me ask you a question, boys and girls. Markets repeat, don't they? So let's go back and see the last time we had something like this. We had two big down days. Look at that. Actually, how much did it drop? It dropped from uh, 127.70. Uh, it dropped 220 handles during that move right there, okay? What did it do this time? From the high to the low, we're going a little bit below it, and we have a little, oh, that's almost spot on. Look at that. Move it over just a little bit so we can see it. That's almost a spot on type move. So we are at a major support. Just get this in one more time because all you want to do is make you see where you are. You're through the 786 by just a little bit. You're trading on it probably right about now. Yeah, that's exactly where it's trading almost uh, right now. 2984, we're at 292592. So we're right in that ballpark. So here, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but folks, this is this is a ABCD pattern, and it's still bullish because you haven't taken out these lows yet. So your risk here is very little. So your, your risk is only about 30, uh, 40 pips, which is roughly $250. Because if we go below, then this is how I try to calculate the maximum risk exposure like all of you that listen to the show each day get tired of hearing it over and over again i take this section right here okay because I, I know this is a b c d so i take this section right here and i want to expand it so you go from your low up to your high and look what the low was right here okay we go below that sayonara don't have anything to do with it so now I've got my risk quantified just about the easiest way I could possibly quantify it. So that's what we're really paying attention to. Now, those of you that are involved in the uh, soybean market and stuff, we uh, uh, there's been a the heads heck, had a heck of a run, and, I, and we're having a little bit of a correction today, but not very much. I had an order today to buy the uh, wheat. This is one of the things I really wanted to buy today was the wheat to buy it right here. And as you can see, we took out the lows of yesterday by a penny, and we've already rallied 14 cents. I don't know when I'm going to get to buy the wheat, but I really want to buy it. I probably should just buy it at the market and not worry about it, but that I don't do very well. So I don't like to chase markets, so I'm going to have to wait and see uh, what the next number will be on the upside. But uh, I'm watching it carefully. And remember, we're still in the down move. This is, this thing is only up, uh, well, it's, well, it's up 30 cents from that low way back here. Remember, this is where our buy point was right back here at 522. We only got to 527, so we missed it. And that tells us that the way this is acting, we've taken out all these highs here now, all right? And we took an out, take, took an out. We've taken this low out. That means we are going higher, and we're going to do this. You're going to have to guess what this pattern is, but I'm sure you'll guess it right. And that's going to take us up here another, oh, there it is right there in between, uh, there's a number, 567, that's the 1.618 expansion. Just draw that in so we can put a marker on that and put our limit binder in because that will be the place, if there's going to be a correction, 
This is where it'll come from, right about that level. All I did was multiply that times 1.618, and that takes us up in to this level right here. Now, we got to take our break here because we've got our good friend, Mr. Norman Winsky from Astro Trends, coming on in the house, and he'll be talking to us about some of these things that we look at so very, very closely here. And with 30 seconds left to go, I guess I could take a quick look here at Mr. Appel. I don't know how Apple's doing, but we'll uh, take a look at it. We'll wait for Mr. Norm Winsky coming up, and I'll post the chart here in Apple. You'll be able to see it as we speak. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I believe we have Norm Winsky in the house. Norman, how are you? Great, Larry. How are you? Uh, thanks for having me on. 
It's my pleasure. Still above the ground, living the dream, pal. Listen, I have a question before we start the show. It'll only take a couple seconds. Uh, over your many, many years, 50 years or so experience that you've got here with the astrology stuff, have you kept statistics on uh, turns in the market on solar and lunar eclipses? That was a question that we had from Peter out of uh, uh, Park my, City. My research, I haven't done it recently, but back in the old days there, I did about a 30, 40 year study on lunar eclipses. Lunar eclipses are seem to be much more effective for the stock market than the solar eclipses. Solar eclipses, you know, maybe 50, 60 percent give you a turn, but the lunar eclipses are in the probably in the 70s, maybe 75 percent. Mm -hmm. And what I found was, uh, on average, the the stock market does not like lunar eclipses. And within one day of a lunar eclipse, uh, uh, I think about 75% of the time, on average, uh, the Dow Jones, the S&P will drop about one and three quarter percent. Wow. Okay. That's the question. So thank you very much, my friend. Yes, sir. And we've got one coming up here, and we'll be getting to that before, before my presentation is done. Go ahead. Please continue. Okay. What I'd like to do right now is, you might remember, Larry... I had requested to come on on uh, March the 8th, just ahead of a new moon, and you had a schedule conflict and couldn't do that, so we had to take a pass. I went ahead and did a, a YouTube video uh, to show as a follow-up on the forecast I'd made on your show on February the 23rd, just ahead of a full moon, and uh, that worked out where, uh, uh, and so on the video, you can request that. Send me an email, and I'll be happy to send you what I would have said here on Larry's show on the 8th of March. And it shows you the results from the previous show's forecast and what I was forecasting at that time just ahead of that new moon. Uh, I hit, ended up hitting 11 out of 12 winning signals for 91.67%. And so that brings, uh, brings you up to speed. And now you can see the forecast I would have made on Larry's show, and it's all on video on the 8th of March, so I can't make this up after the fact. It's all on public record. So here's what I was forecasting back on the 8th of March, just ahead of the new moon. We had a, uh, you might want to take a screenshot of this, because uh, as we go through, I'll re refer the, referring back to these points. Uh, AC means after the close, the 8th was a Friday. So over that weekend, we had a new moon at perigee in the sign of Pisces. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we round up the usual suspects, financial grange, precious metals. And because it was in the sign of Pisces, that's oil. So we're going to be emphasizing featuring oil for a new moon in Pisces at perigee. Then we had Jupiter to the U.S. natal chart. Anytime we have that, the, a natal chart is taking a snapshot of the planets where the planets were at the time of the founding of the, of the USA on July the 4th, 1776. Anytime we do have that, we look at stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. Then uh, that was also over the eighth weekend. Then the night of the 12th, we had Mercury at zero north latitude. Mercury is one of the big factors for the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And oh, by the way, stocks potentially respond to all these events. So all these events will be looking for all these events. We'll be looking at the stock market. Then we had a really big thing. This is kind of uh, a general thing that's happening. And specifically, we had uh, we're into the Jupiter Uranus uh, conjunction cycle. And we're going to have, be having several related events over the next eight to six to eight weeks so forth uh, with this. This is a 13-year cycle. And uh, related to this, uh, I think I might have mentioned back in February, uh, related to this, this was the sort of the cycle. Uh, uh, I stumbled on Donald Bradley's book back when it was about 1971 when I was a college student there at Indiana State University in Terre Haute, Indiana. And I stumbled on Donald Bradley's book. They had one copy on an empty shelf. <laughs> and I was already studying the stock market and already studying astrology and thought there might be a way to put the two things together. But I didn't have a clue what to do. And I saw this book, picked it up. And in the middle of the book, he talks about these different, uh, what's called synodical periods, where you have 
two a pair of two planets, what period does it take, for example, for Jupiter to go around and catch up and line up with Uranus? And that's a 13-year cycle. And then he talked about the different angles or different phases of that, the sub uh, subdivisions of that, uh, or correlated with a 41-month business cycle and showed a chart of that the stock market was going up and down on this cycle. And I have a background, a family background, going back several generations in the scrap business and heard about my father talking about copper prices. And I knew that, and I was also an economics major and knew that copper was probably on that cycle too. Went and researched it and that ended up being the first stock ever bought a good old Anaconda copper there back in the early 70s. And I made enough money uh, based on them doing that on the planets. Never traded a stock before in my life. And I made enough money on that. That led to my buying a membership in 1975 on the Chicago Board Options Exchange. And I did that. I was there for 12 years. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, this cycle kind of holds a special place in my heart. Anyway, we had the helio version. That's from the point of view of the sun on the night of the 13th. And what's and they both Jupiter and Uranus line up in the sign of Taurus, the bull. And of course, then you would expect to look at cattle because that's a bull. That's a you know Taurus. And then we also have Uranus. That's copper. And also Taurus is cotton. So we'll be looking at those markets. Then the night of the 15th, we had Mercury perihelion. We get to learn multiple languages in astrology. Uh, Helios is Greek for the sun. Para means close, so that's in Mercury's 88-day 88, 88 cycle around the sun. Uh, Mercury is at its closest point there, that night of the 15th. And, of course, if we're digging out Mercury, we're going to be looking at the grains. Plus, because the sun is involved, it's related to the sun. We'll also be looking at the solar markets, which are corn and sun is corn because it's golden, you know, and then gold and soybeans wheat. Then we have Venus at the opposite point of where Mercury is. Happy healing is its farthest point, the night of the 19th. And we have our Venus markets, cattle, copper, corn, cotton, gold, sugar, and wheat. And then I was sharing with you an experiment I was doing with a GAN method where you look at the different numbers. Here we had uh, uh, five, uh, so many days lined up with the... Uh, from the price of, from the low in March 6th okay. to 2009. Got to so pay a few bills. Got to pay a few bills, Norm. Please stay with us. It's great stuff. Okay. Norm Winsky, folks, he'll be right back after a three minute break. Pay some bills. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of Basil's educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns.
and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Please continue, Norman. Okay, when we went to commercial, I was saying how the video that you can request, uh, for, and I did it on the 8th of March, was uh, using like this scan method, and if you call me, I'll give you a free class. We'll go over this uh, just to save time. Now I'm going to do it real quick. It basically projected a change in trend for the S&P for March 12th. Okay, so we'll see how that. When I get the S&P chart, we'll see how that went. Here's uh, okay. Now we're going to review the charts for these forecasts. We had the uh, four points for the corn. We had the uh, first one is the uh, the full moon. Wait, was that a full moon? Wait, b -b 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 new moon. I'm sorry, new moon. Uh, over the eighth, the weekend there. Then we had the next point was Mercury zero north latitude. Then we had Mercury perihelion, and the last one was Venus aphelion. As you can see there, we had three out of four winners. Green arrow is a winner. Red is a miss. And if you see yellow, uh, that's a pass where the market was going sideways. Uh, here's the uh, uh, soybeans missed on the on the moon because it went higher. We're looking for a turn, right? And mm -hmm. the day before that high, it took a little bit of drawdown there. If you sold there and you hung in there, eventually a few days later you had a winner over here. So not a big winner, but it's still it was a small winner. <laughs> then the wheat was a little bit better. You had the uh, missed on the moon. Then that was a very nice top there on the uh, Mercury Zero North Latitude, and then down to Mercury Perihelion, very nice low there, and then up there for the Venus Aphelion, nice little top there. And here's your cattle. Here's our one of our biggest, most sort of inter more interesting points with Jupiter lining up with Uranus in the sign of Taurus the Bull. You would hope that that would work because it kind of speaks to itself, you might say. And so that's like a double hit there, double winner there with a big down. If you sold there on the opening as after the close of the overnight from the, oh, let me turn my phone off. There oh. we go. And then we're going down. And uh, anyway, that was a nice, uh, nice one there. And cotton made a little bit of a top there and down. And sugar on your Venus point there made a nice low there and then rallied. And copper. You miss had a miss there on the first point. Copper, copper, copper was. Uh, hold on, let me fix that. Sorry. Is that a margin that. call? It's not a margin call, is it, Norm? No. Nope. Oh, good. No, it's it's a just joke, a huh? move. I know. All I right, know. we got rid of them now. All right. Anyway, so we got the copper there miss there, uh, but uh, a little bit of a short-term low there on the Venus point there, so that's worked out. So we went 50-50 on copper. Silver has been pretty reliable. It's usually 80-90% accurate. Trading on the moon with your, um, is it Mary Rivers? Is that right, Larry? Yep. Mary's moon and Scorpio. Go. That was right. Yep. There you go. Well, I look at the new moon, full moon for silver, and that works pretty well. Has a little short-term top there. That's good for, uh, looks like about uh, 50-60 cents, which on the 5,000 ounce contract, that's uh, some pretty good money there, you know, right? 
Mm-hmm. And then we got uh, gold there making a top right there on the moon. And right just past that high there and down, down, down. Uh, but the, this kind of made a low there, but then it didn't go anywhere. It just went sideways. Mm-hmm. So I had to count that as a miss. And then over here, by the point we got here, then you're just going sideways. So that's a pass. Here's crude oil mm-hmm. did really nicely on the moon in Pisces. So the new moon in the sign of Pisces, I told you. That's oil. Mm-hmm. And look at that giant rally we had off of that lo- nice low there. There we go. That was that's on the real money there. That's uh, seventy. Well, that's seventy six, roughly, up mm-hmm. to over eighty. Yeah, about seven. Looks like about seven handles there. Seven thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Here's the S and P. We had uh, all these points here for the S and P. Had a, a, a double uh, point here for the weekend of the eighth. Then we went up here for like a good triple top here. And uh, those were all good. And then we had a little short-term low, short-term high there. And then over here, that we just had the one miss, Venus Apihelion. And this is just going sideways here on the T-bonds, unfortunately. So that was a, uh, had a double point there over the weekend of the 8th. But that was a double pass, so we did nothing there. A dollar had a very nice dip into the moon. The currencies are in the work, work in the 70s, winning... Wouldn't need signals in the 70s, I would guess. And there you go. You had a double point there for the U.S. dollar. Just off of that low there, you're buying against that low. And then a really nice rally there. There's your Aussie dollar. Mirror image, pretty much of the dollar. Uh, the British pound did the same. And here's your Canadian. The Canadian dollar is the only one that didn't work very well. Uh, you were, you know, you kind of missed the boat. Uh, there was a high there, mm-hmm. and by this point, you're too you're too far to, off of the high there. Uh, but the euros is a better. It was closer to that top there, so that counts. And there's your Japanese yen. That was really excellent, really close to that high there over the eighth weekend, and then down, down, down she goes. Here's a Swiss franc, and same kind of deal. So out of the 30 potential, 30 signals, oh, I'm sorry, we had 38 signals. We had 30 winners, eight misses out of 38 for 78.95%. Now here's what's coming up in the future immediately this weekend. AC after the close, today's March 22. And here's look at all we have here this weekend. And these are only the top ones I'm showing you. I've got some minor ones too. But we have Uranus lining up with the U.S. Mercury, so that's a U.S. deal, a stock, the bonds, U.S. dollar. Then we're going to have Mars change signs, go into the sign of Pisces, and the, I told you that's oil. And then Saturn to the U.S. chart again, stock, the bond, U.S. dollar. This is all happening over this weekend. That's one, two, three, four, five, six points. Then we have Jupiter to the U.S. chart again, stock, the bonds, U.S. dollar. Then we have mercury uh, mercury cycle for the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. Keep in mind that's also stocks. And then we have a full moon lunar eclipse. I think it's in the wee hours, early Monday morning before the market opens. I think like uh, 3 in the morning, something like that. And anytime we have that, we have financial grains, precious metals, oil. Mm. And because it's in the sign of Libra, we'll be emphasizing sugar and wheat. We're running a special on sugar and wheat. So there's your forecast coming up here immediately. And uh, got some, and hopefully we'll be able to show the results of that when I'm, if I can, if Larry allowed me to come back again. <laughs> uh, we'll have so, to work on that, but I think we'll get to squeeze you in somehow. Listen, uh, uh, tell the folks how they can reach you, Norm. All right, let me just tell you real quick for anybody who doesn't know me, been doing this a long time. As Larry said earlier, about 50 years started. In the early 70s there, bought a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange. 1975, also traded on the Chicago Board of Trade. During my 12-year stint there as a Chicago floor trader, studying all these different methodologies, Dan Elliott Wave, astrophysics, astrology, music cycles, Fibonacci, and so forth. And I'll be happy to share that with you. You know, I think if I had one talent, that talent is I, I learned how to take complicated stuff and make it simple, nothing that I do is over a fifth grade level because I struggled in school. I don't know about you. So here we go. Here's how to get a hold of me. I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida. 
And you can call me at 239-594-3939. That's 239-594-3939. You can email me at anwinski at yahoo.com. Or you can call me on Skype with the same address. So looking forward to help some of the folks. You can call me and get a free class. I'll explain the GAN method there. I was showing earlier, okay. or if you have any questions on any of this, any of the Astro or whatever, I'll be happy to, to help you okay. with that. Everybody have a great weekend and a great week yeah. ahead. And please, uh, yeah. if you're interested, please contact me right away because I'm getting into my monthly deadline time here at the end of the month. Thank okay, thanks for much joining for us, me on, Larry. You Is bet. there any, any questions from the, from the tiger down there? No, sir. We're paying bills right now, so we'll talk to you next time we have you on the air, okay? All right, let me just give you a sneak peek, Larry. Larry. Seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week, exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, the last time I was on the show was on Monday. Uh, and what I would be looking at today is the uh, copper. We had this big ABCD. Now, you notice here the ABCD missed the target, and the reason why was because of this weekly bar that we had. Uh oh, timeout. Someone's calling me from the head. Oh, uh, dear. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I know what. I forgot to hit the go live. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, here's where we are. Uh, the ABCD should have measured to 408. We went to 416. You can see that's the 1.618 expansion of that whole move. Remember, whenever you have a move that's going that fast, you have to multiply the CD leg by 1.27. If you did that, you just mark that, go up to the CD leg. Oopsie daisy, I got to get the right leg up here. Hold on one second. There it is right there. And you just take it. Oh, whoa, what's happening here? Oh, I know what's wrong. Let's just get this over like this. This should do it. There's what we want to do. We want to make this to 1.27, and then we'll go back, and you'll see where we are. That will take you there. So you go down to your low, A, B, C, D, and that would measure to, uh, that would have measured to 19, and we only got to 16. So it missed it by a little bit, but 
there was your 1.618 expansion right here. And looking at this on the daily, you can see you had a really clear move up into this area right here. Your 786 off of that move came in at uh, 416.90 and the high was 416.80. So that's pretty close. Now we've come down, you can see the ABCD structure. We had that monster move in stocks on Wednesday and this didn't do very much. You can see here's the Wednesday's move, move this over here. There's where we were, there was the rally here, and we're getting ready to make a bottom here at 497, excuse me, 397 uh, in the, um, oh, shucks, I'll get this act back together here. And we'll see you all on Monday, folks, but the number in copper is, for the rally, it should be around uh, 399, we're two cents away. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and I'll see you on the flip side on Monday. So stay safe and be good to your neighbors.